It's about how does it feel to finally get that breakthrough win? Ah, uh, relief. Um, just seriously though, a lot of reward for effort because the guys, as I said after the game, have been working their backsides off since last August. Um, so it's just nice to see a smile on their face. Um, yeah, so we'll enjoy tonight, but as I said, enjoy tonight, but make sure once tomorrow comes that you um, start preparing to play Lauderdale next week. How proud of you were, how proud of you were of the boys for finally bringing that four quarter, four quarter effort? Yeah, I mean, we had a, a really distinct plan on how we were going to try and beat Clarence, um, and we, we trained really well on Tuesday night, and as a coach you walk away sometimes from training and you're a little bit concerned, but once I finished, we finished training Tuesday night, I was very confident that if we could bring the same application that we had at training on Tuesday um, to the game today, we'd come away with a win. So fortunately we were able to do that and um, obviously Clarence didn't kick straight, but I still think for large parts we controlled the game. There was a couple of really important contributions today, particularly Colin Garland. How important is he to the side? Oh, well, I mean, he's six foot four, beautiful kick for goal, exceptional player. Um, and I was confident with, in him, in not knowing his body, but the way he moved on Tuesday night, I thought, oh, I think he might be on this week. Um, so, and obviously he was. I mean, he's a very hard matchup for anyone. Not only does he kick goals, but he gives the, the crumbers the confidence to get front and centre and um, gives them an opportunity at the scoreboard as well. So, to kick 16 goals in total, um, it's a large part due to Cole, but obviously. Um, you know, the ball movement, getting it in, making him isola isolated, made it play in his hands as well. He adds a lot to the forward structure in particular. Like, I know you were talking about the crummers, like people like Austin Keeling, who just yeah, well, looked so on today. Ozzy's only 19, um, so it's great that he's getting some uh, exposure at senior level, having Cole directing him where to go. Um, you know, it's pretty lucky, really, he's 19 years of age, third or fourth senior game. You've got a guy with a lot of experience. Um, helping him out there, but also Ollie Dibonito back in the side today. He's obviously um, played a lot of games of footy and he can help educate the guys along the way as well. So it's just good to have some experience back out there today. And through the middle, Nathan McCulloch and Sam Darley were working hard today as well. Yeah, they're exceptional. We're, having Sam Caswell back in the midfield rotation as well, I think helped them because we were able to play Jade and Charlton Ford a little bit. Um, even Nathan and Sam both went forward, Sam Darley both went forward, which obviously gives the opposition a few headaches as well. So we just we just got to try and keep adding depth to our midfield because it's just, obviously with how we've been going, we've been spending far too many minutes on ball. So it was good to get them off and then send them forward. So we just got to keep creating that midfield depth there. But those boys were all really good. And Joshy Cleaver was also really strong today in the back line. Yeah, I thought the whole back six was exceptional. I mean, Josh is only another young guy that's just improving from every week. Um, I thought, um, just the back six in general were exceptional, but I thought Callum Kilpatrick's drive off half back, he took his game to another level today. Um, obviously he's played in the state 25s earlier in the year, but I just thought today it just showed some signs that um, he's going to be an exceptional player for the club. And Gus Norton also showed some good signs on the wing. Oh, he's a ripper. Yeah, I mean Gus, for a guy that hasn't played much footy, um, his, his footy knowledge, footy IQ is uh, exceptional. So I love coaching Gus. Um, he's a cheeky little bugger, but um, I love having him around. The boys love having him around. I mean, he tackles as good as anyone at the club. Um, he's a barometer there for our um, for our tackling effort. So um, he was really good. It's a fantastic result today, but looking to next week, you get a big challenge against Lord Dow down that time. Scott Sobel. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's tough. I mean, obviously, they've been probably the best side at the moment. Um, they probably don't have too many weaknesses on every line, so we've just got to make sure we go down there and look forward to the challenge, embrace it. I mean, a, a win always gives you a bit of confidence, so um, we've just got to enjoy tonight, prepare well tomorrow, and, and obviously it's a massive challenge down there on Saturday, but um, something we're really looking forward to. And any injury concerns coming out of this game? No, we've got a clean bill of health, which is the first time we've had that all year, so um, yeah, so it's, yeah, that's great as well.